Well, 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 good evening, everybody out there in Chester County, Hodesville, and on my Facebook page. Doggone it. Coming to you live on City Town Talk on a Wednesday evening is none other than Brother Fonz. We got two special guests here. I can't wait to introduce them. It's getting ready to be on. Let me turn this music down now. See, y'all know how I got to do now. I got to go ahead and try and tune in so I can see who we're going to meet and greet this evening because this is a special, this is a special meeting because, you know, City Town Talk doesn't usually come on on a Wednesday, but tonight we are because we got two special guests. We are talking about, we have Kim Milborn and Joel Kennedy. And let me say a few words about what's getting ready to happen. This mother and son duo is the first mother and son duo to be interviewed in regards to the Coatesville, or should I say MCDC's adult prom. They the first ones. Everybody else has been boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband and wife, and all that stuff. So I'm going to wait till a couple of people check in because I want to meet and greet you. So whoever's on, come on, just uh, pop your name up in there so I can say hi. We're going to get this thing started. Get my little drink of water. Yep. So, Kim, how was your day today? That was a good day. Was it good? Hey, my, yeah, mine wasn't bad. You know, I, I spent all day waiting for this moment. Did you, I mean, so did you work today? Uh, did you have to smack anybody or lay anybody out? Job work was good and everything? No, I worked today. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> okay, we'll leave, we'll leave it right there. Joe, to, uh, talk to me, man. First of all, say good evening to everybody. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> from, uh, like, what you mean, like where I'm from and all that? Yeah, just, yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you all that, but I'm just like, how was your day? See, because right now I'm going to tell you who you remind me of. I don't know. Have you ever seen the Five Heartbeats? Yeah. Yeah. You remember that guy who was Shy Brother in the restaurant? Mm hmm. Okay. You remind me of Shy Brother right now. But I'm going to get some <laughs> words out your mouth because I'm telling you, I'm I bad. ain't scared of you. We're going we gonna to get some conversation. <laughs> And your mom, she tried to answer me real quick, too. But that ain't that kind of party. I'm going to draw y'all out. I'm going to draw y'all out. Hey, brother, you know, it, huh? No, I, you were saying that I have to put somebody out, that I have to yeah. smack somebody. Yeah, yeah. This is, what, this is what I pray for daily that I don't. <laughs> oh, but well, that's all right. Because <laughs> prayer, prayer changes things, don't it? <laughs> yeah. So, no, that sometimes don't you want to go in there and say, you, uh, hey, Kashay Nick Cole just said there. Kashay, it's good to see you, brother X. As always, it's good to see you. And Kashay, I'm intro introducing, I'm interviewing <clears throat> him and Joel because they're coming to the prom together. What I found that on this prom a lot, and it's because of them, because they were one of the first. Uh, a lot of the sons and the young men are taking their mothers to this adult prom. I'm excited about this whole thing. I can see some people crying. Some of you mothers are going to be going in with a little tear in your eye because you're going to look at your date and that's your son. And, and it's going to be a beautiful moment. Uh, Joel probably won't cry. He's going to look real hard like he's looking right now. He ain't smiling. But he gonna, you know, but that's okay. That's okay. So look, I'm going to get started. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Now, now, Kim, where are you originally from? Coatesville. South Coatesville. Uh, South Coatesville, you like? Yes. My my mind. Uh, so did you? Would you graduate from Cash? Yes. Wow. We're gonna talk about. It. We're gonna talk about that. Hey Joe. Now, hey, look. Uh, if you didn't graduate, that's okay. If you got a GED, that's okay. I graduated. If you, if you didn't get none of that stuff, it's all okay. This is like just friends talking to friends. Let's talk about high school. How was it for you? High school was fun. Was it? now you know yeah. I remember you. Hey Rita Brown, it's good to see you. Kendra Wilson. Man, you know what? Y'all must be special because Kendra don't never check in on my show. <laughs> Y'all know Kendra Wilson. Hi, she, Kendra. It, it, let me tell you something. She's the best person that ever worked in a bank in my whole life. I just love me some of her because, and that's why I make sure I always bank at President's Bank because I can count on her. Rita, it is good to see you. Hey, look, this is the first mother and son group duo or whatever that's going to the adult prom. I, look, I'm going to tell y'all something too. Hey, Joe. I'm going to call you Joe, right? Because I don't like to add that L, you know, Joe L. That's like, I think that was Superman's dad in the uh, in the movie. Yeah, okay, well. so <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So Joe and Kim, y'all are trendsetters. You are the first uh, mother and son 
duo, and I know y'all gonna I know y'all gonna be looking sharp too, but we're gonna talk about that later. Is anybody playing with you? Hey Nelson, it is good to see you, Nelson O'Head. Hey Nelson, seriously, you might want to come to this prom because you always on my show checking everybody out, and you know you from you from Oak Street, right? <laughs> you might as well come. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, so Joe, you went to cash too, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Now, I'm a, now my question is gonna be for both of y'all. So I'm gonna be banging back and forth. Y'all, y'all look at basketball. Joe, I know you know about basketball. Kim, you ever see a basketball game where they got two guys, they call them the guards, right? And they bring the ball up and they pass it back and forth to each other. Well, y'all the two guards on this team this evening. So check this out. Kim, tell me. Yeah, I usually do point. I'm usually do point. What point guard? Point guard. <laughs> see, see, I had no <laughs> idea. See, now I thought that went like, poof, and no, you jumped right in. Okay, Angela Driver, bro, it's good to see you. Michael Lanos, Michael Lanos really ever checks in. I've never seen him. There's something about y'all that's making people that's never checked in. You know him? Yeah. Ah, okay. See, I know what I'm talking about. I know my peoples, right? Hey, look, so Mike, stick on, man, because we we, we got Joe laughing and everything, because when he first came on, he had that look like the Goodfellas, you know what I mean? That movie, The Goodfellas. I'm like, ain't nobody playing with him. This ain't that kind of serious interview, right? So we got him laughing right now. So look, I want to know, Joe, what was some of your interests in school? Because I know you had a lot of fun. I remember you coming in the foot stop and all that stuff. You was always a good brother. You know, you was always respectful. Tell me what your interest was in school. Girl. Girls? Yeah. Okay, you got it first. He's keeping it real. He's keeping it. Right, look, okay. that's the kind of interview I want. What, what did you take up in school? Girls. All right. <laughs> so, Kim, <laughs> tell me what was some of your interests. I know yours wasn't girls. Talk to me. Basketball. So you really did play, huh? Yes, I did. Why, was you on the team? Yes, I was on the team. I yes, I was you. on the team. I played varsity three years. See, that's my fault. Now, you know, usually the guests that I have on this show, I ask them to have a short bio. And if I had asked you that and you gave me that, I would have known to ask that question. But I'm glad you shared that. I am so happy. You used to play by him. You said point guard. Point guard. Oh, you know what? That's why y'all on this show. I can't stand y'all. That is all right. So now, Kim, so what, what do you do now? What, what's your occupation about? My occupation is I work for a credit card company. I've been there 28 years, what? 29 in October. Boy. It's called Idemia now. Talking about commitment. <laughs> she get a job and she just won't quit and won't get fired. That's all right. 29 <laughs> years. Now, now, Joe, I'm scared to ask you what you do because I done seen your answer. I heard your answers already. Joe, what are you doing right now? And uh, now share in the world. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's Drive all right. forklifts and all that. Okay. God bless you, man. That's all right. That is all right. Now, okay. Now, we're getting rid of the floor stuff. Now, look. This is all about this prom thing. So, we're going to take this back to the thrilling days of yesteryear. I don't know who to ask first. So, I'm going to just throw this out because, Kim, I think you would set the plate for your son. Talk to me back in the day, like around prom time. Did you go on your prom? No. I didn't go on my prom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, she didn't go now. Inquiry minds want to know just why, if you don't mind sharing. Come on, talk to us. Because um, the guy that I was going to go on the prom with, um, originally his mom paid for him and her, him and his sister to go. Who's mm -hmm. um, My ex, it was an ex-boyfriend. Okay. And she and so she came. Yeah. <laughs> so she came and as she asked me, she was like, um, the girl, her daughter changed her mind and she wanted to go like on a date with someone. Uh, okay. So she was like, Would you go with my son? Uh, so I was like, Yeah, you know, she's like a mom to me. So I was like, Yeah, I'll go. But then I don't know what happened with the date with the sister. Uh -huh. So I didn't want the mom to be out of money. So I just said, you might as well take your sister because that wouldn't be right if she didn't have a date. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Hey, look, let me say hi to some people that's checking in that's listening to your story. Angela Driver Grove is watching. And she says, LOL, Fonz. 
<laughs> Fonz is the only person who calls me Angela Driver Groove. And she said, hi, Kim. Hi, Angela. How you doing, Ange? Hey, so Ange, put in the chat section exactly what you want me to call you, because you got a whole bunch of names on here. Hey, Andre Cooper has checked in. Coop Cooper. He's got two Coops in his name. Andre Coop Cooper. Damika Reeves has checked in. Donna Lewis Blaine. Wait a minute. Marsha Newton Baker just checked in. She doesn't check in often. She must be a friend of yours. Maybe not. Okay. All right. Oh, so, I, no, I know her. She's a, a beautiful lady. A beautiful okay. Lady. I know Marsha as well. So she must have heard that she was on because she doesn't check in that often. But that's okay. So now your prom, was it a good prom or was it a bad prom? Uh, oh, just, you know, talk, talk to me. I didn't go at all. Oh, you didn't go at all. That's right. That's right. You didn't go no. at all. All right. I just, gave it a, I just told the sister can go. Oh, man, that's nice. We're talking about some sacrificial stuff right there. Hey, brother Javon Grove just checked in. Javon, and your daughter is getting big, Javon. Your daughter's face has had a smile and ever since she was born. I don't know who takes the picture of his daughter, but whenever it comes up on Facebook, it immediately makes you smile. It makes me smile. Oh, she said Angela Grove is fine. Okay, Angie, you got it. Okay, come on, Joe. I know you got something good going on. Talk to me about prom time. I ain't go to prom. Okay. Let's, let's stretch that out a little bit further. Could you tell us why? Personal reason. Okay, okay, good, good. All right. So this gives you, well, the name of this is Second Chance. So this gives you an opportunity, right? Bam. Right. This is the reason why um, I got excited when I seen that you were having a adult prom. Because wow. I was like, I didn't go to my prom. And... My son um, didn't make it to his, mm -hmm. so we're going together. Man, this is, this is going to be perfect. This is really, really nice. Now, check this out. Uh, Joe, do you dance? Or are you, are you in that cool generation where y'all just kind of like chill when you hear music? How does this work? I dance. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Kim, are you a dancer? No. <laughs> no, I'm a dancer, but I don't dance. I mean, I can dance, but I don't dance. But like I told you before, he'll probably make me do something. Uh, and, and not him. I'm, I'm walking around the room because my wife doesn't dance. So I'm going to be walking around the room dancing with everybody. And I don't take a whole lot of notes because I make a scene. It gets real stupid and all that kind of stuff. But in a fun way, in a fun way. And I'm not serious. I don't know no serious steps. I can't make you look bad. Because I'm 73 years old. I dance like a 73-year-old from the left and to the right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That's about as good as it gets. All right, now. So you guys are going to be in a parade and everything, right? Yes. All right, because we're going to line up. We're going to line up at around 5 p.m. down there at Votech. Uh, hey, Dre Money. You know what? Dre Money is checked in. Dre Money don't never have enough time. Oh, <laughs> Dre, what up, dog? That's my brother. Hey. He never has enough time to check into none of my shows, man, but he's in on this one. See, I just know everybody. So five o'clock, we're going to line up, and you know Dre Money's going to be one of the DJs, right? So he's going to be rocking this thing. You know how y'all people talk about on the ones and the twos and all that stuff. Hey, there goes Eric White, who I'm trying to make sure Eric White comes to this prom. Eric, you don't want to be the only one in town that says, man, I didn't go. Because this thing is getting come ready. on, King. It's going to be crazy. And he, you know, me and him go to the same church. Donna Rowland's talking about, what's up? <laughs> Donna, it's good to see you this evening. Eric White put in 100, 100, 100. Now, look. So we're going to do the parade, right? We're going to make a big deal out of y'all. It's going to be embarrassing because we're really going to make a big deal out of y'all. So we're going to do the red carpet coming in. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know how that thing works. This ain't your first rodeo, right? But not only are we going to do that, we got another red carpet on the inside where we're going to be doing the serious photo session. And we're going to have Club King. For those of you who've seen the uh, videos of Teen Teens, uh, no, I'm going to call it Teen because that's what Teen's place. Uh, Katina's place, uh, he did the video for that. He did the video for uh, uh, our Coastal Black Media Renaissance. He is good. Donna Rowland says she needs a date. It's public now. It's on, uh, it's on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> And I'm telling Donna, a whole lot of females are coming together. They're getting their renting their cars together. And they're just rolling up in there almost like they did back then. 
So tell her it's gonna be it's gonna be a few young men that that's taking their moms and their moms don't really dance. So I think she's gonna have a good time. Donna, yeah, Donna, you are oh Donna, Angela said me too, Donna. So y'all two can come together. Donna and Angela, I got women that's coming, that's renting cars together. They come and they're gonna walk the red carpet. We're gonna make a big deal out of them. We're gonna have some fun because it ain't even all about that. Really, really, really. This prom is good for the day, but it's also good for us collectively to come together, cross generations, to be under one roof and have a great time and be be just spoiled the whole nine yards. So now where was I? Okay, we was at the photo session. Bam, okay. You got that. You got about four photographers, so we're going to catch it all kinds of ways. Now, guess what? We're also going to be doing live interviews inside, okay? Microphone up in your face, and that will be streamed live on YouTube and Facebook. So anybody within the sound of my voice, if you got uh, warrants, you got baby mama drama, you might want to watch yourself because this is going to be on YouTube and Facebook. Stream. It's going to be like a BET Awards type thing. We want to make sure that uh, we hear from y'all. Oh, man. So what else I got? So now you gave us a good reason for coming. Now, is there anything? Now, you know we got the band, right? Yeah. yeah. Got, okay. Now, uh, Motown is a little bit too old for you, Joe. So we're going to make sure we have, I don't know whether, whether you call it hip hop or whatever, but we're going to have the kind of music to make you get up out your seat. You know what I mean? That's why we got Papo and Dre Money, and we're going to have the full course dinner by Mavis out there in Westchester. Donna Rowland calls it Soulful Seniors. That's right. See, y'all need to make a plaque and put it on your car for in the parade calling y'all the Soulful Singers. Okay. Now, have y'all started deciding what y'all want to wear? Oh, we've been looking. Oh, we're not discussing that right now. No, 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 no. Yeah, I just yeah, want to know. Yeah, no, I just want to know if you. We're gonna discuss it a little bit. We're gonna discuss it a little bit. Uh, um, okay. we've been we've been looking and we've been okay. we've been searching. So it was kind of hard for me because, um, like a um, natural girl and everything like that. And usually mm -hmm. I just have on work clothes and all that because that's what I do. So I got myself a stylist. You got yourself a what? Stylist. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Her name is Shalonda Green. Okay. All right. Well, I'm excited to see it now. I mean, I, I'm really. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, we just got a guest person just came on, and I've never seen her on none of my stuff. And all of y'all know her, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. If she's still a state trooper, officer of the doggone law, but her <laughs> name is. <laughs> Wale Gonzalez. Do y'all know Wale Gonzalez? She, no. She's just very Hi, short. Wale. Yeah, very short. Uh, I she used to be a state trooper. I don't know what she is now, but all I know is I never seen her on. Teresa Allen got her tickets uh today. Teresa, it is good to see you. And so, Donna, yeah, oh man, yeah. Teresa, she good people, mm -hmm. man. She is good people. Khalees McGibney is watching. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you something. People watching right now that ain't that don't watch this show. I got to have you. This is second mom. Who, who is? Therese. Wow. Good looking out. Good looking out. Khalees McGivney has checked in. <laughs> Dre Money just, he's waving at Wale. And you know good what? Virginia Patterson just said, hey, Virginia, you ain't getting no tickets for this adult prom. And you know you're an adult. And I'm telling you, and hey, look, hey, hey Virginia. Half my church got tickets. I got I done sold about 30 tickets in New Light, man. Hey, by the way, by the way, state representative and my pastor Dan K. Williams will be the lead car in the parade. All he from right. West Philly. He from West Philly. You know, they was real cool and cute West Philly. So I don't know if he danced or not, but uh uh I'm from Philly and I'm definitely gonna be jamming. So Virginia Patterson said hello, and Therese said, Hey son. What are you doing? Monique. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, y'all done turned sideways. Okay, there you go. Monique, Nikki Hall just checked in. She said, hello, kings and queens. That is good. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, in your travels, have you been hearing, uh, have you been hearing much about this adult prom? Have you heard a certain buzz in the community? Yes, I mainly 
I seen it on uh, Facebook on on your page. So since me and my son is gone, I've been I've been trying to remember who all didn't go to their prom. So I've been hitting them up. So uh, oh, I appreciate one of my best friends. She's talking to her. She's going to talk to her son today, and she wants mm -hmm. to go because she didn't go to her prom either. And uh -huh. Ty wants my sister Cheryl. He wants the my sister Cheryl to come. So I think that's going to be some more ticket sales for you. Now, now you say Ty. Who was talking? Tyler Gray. Yeah, my nephew Tyler Gray. <laughs> that's my. You know, Ty worked at Footstop for about a week. I know. <laughs> I know. So oh, know that's Ty my man. Wilson. His that name is Cheryl is Wilson. You know, Ty was on my show, and it was one of the most watched oh, shows that I've ever had, man. It, 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 was, it was really great. <laughs> Somebody said, that's your son. You look too young. Are you talking about me? Oh, you're talking about Kim. Okay. Kim, Donna's talking about, that's your son. You look too young. Hey, you know, hey Donna, she used to be a point guard for, for cash. Imagine that. Well, they said, Dre Money, hey, stranger, stranger, stranger. So now, is there anything special that you're looking for that you think we should have there? Because it seems like we got everything. I mean, it's going to be five hours of steady entertainment. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit different than when the kids have it, because the kids, there's no tables. There'll just be a mob in the middle of the floor, and they just dance all night. Uh, that's kind of like not what we're going to have. We're going to, of course, we're going to have dance and stuff like that, but it's going to be a show because. That the band that we got, which is expensive, is going to be a show. Now you can dance to it, but but you understand what I'm saying. So we're providing dance music, show music if you like. Uh, we're going to have a special guest uh, and the uh, all this kind of stuff and the dinner and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Who who, who said it? Is that Brandon Wale replied to Dre Fonz? Wale is the first ever Puerto Rican female to join the. The PA State Troopers is probably the end of that. And, you know, I imagine that. Hey, Brenda, Brandon Morris, it's good to see you, Norma. Asocion, I love saying that last name, always have. Felicia McCain checked in. Look, y'all got some visitors tonight. Oh, she said, hey, I mean, Brandon said, hey, auntie, what's up, cuzzo? What up, though? Hey, that's my baby. <laughs> Brandon, 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 that's all right. You used to hang up there with me. With my with my grandbaby up there, uh, with with, with uh, Anika and Shaylisha and all them and all them all them, they're all swinging and hanging out together. Brandon, it is good to see you. <clears throat> we're we're really excited excited about having this because we've over we've always heard from the community that they wish they had an adult prom, right? And uh, Mary Kyle brought this idea over the last ten years, and uh, for some reason it didn't catch on. Uh, with uh, Mr. Como, with uh, Kathy Tashner, and she did mention it to me, and I said, let's make it happen. You know what I mean? And uh, we were blessed. I got an opportunity to talk to the, uh, the superintendent, and uh, things just started rolling. This thing is getting big. This thing is getting very, very big, and it's very, very classy. We've invested a lot of money, and uh, I just want to, you know, eventually I will thank all the sponsors because we as a nonprofit could not do what it is that you guys are going to see on June the 3rd. Um, we will be using the same decorations that the kids are having for the prom, right? So you're going to step into a wonderland. You feel me? This ain't going to be just no bam, 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 some walls, y'all. No, it's going to be a theme, a scheme, and all that. Y'all going to step from one world <laughs> to another world. And it's going to be different. It's going to be deep. Angela, Rhonda Brown Harris. Uh, uh, what's that? Naj Dukes is watching. It's N-I-J Dukes. I'm not quite sure how to say that. But good evening. It is good to see y'all. It, it, you know, hey, I want y'all to share this too. Hit the share button. Because I want other people to know uh, what we know. And to share this lovely couple right here who's going to be coming in, strutting their stuff. I can't wait to see them. They're not, they're not giving out any secrets. In regards to what they're looking like, what they're coming in, and as well, that should be. Uh, all I want to say is, Kim, don't eat a lot of donuts a month before the prom. So whatever you're getting made or wearing, it'll still fit, okay? Yes, sir. Let's be, <laughs> let's be mindful of our food. Hey, is there <laughs> anything y'all would like to share 
with our viewers out there, man, before we bring this to a close, because I think, I think we've talked about it all, unless there's something you'd like to share that I don't know about. Come on, talk to me. Um, I like, I was so excited, I like, this morning I almost cried. I love Mary Norris. When I see that um, Charlie had asked his mom to the prom, I was just like, wow. Like, I'm just excited to see the people that's going to be at the prom and the people that it's going to be something really special for them, you know? It's going to be a love fest. I'm telling you, I can see some tears flowing. <laughs> now, yeah. now, 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 look, I, I done did a lot of stuff. I, now, I done did a lot of stuff. I've had pistols in my hand. I've had them to my head. I mean, I ain't no tough guy, nothing like that. But I'm telling you, when I see stuff like that, it breaks a brother up because hey, love is a beautiful thing. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Love, real, unadulterated love is a beautiful thing. And when I see y'all walk together, and the other brother, when I see everybody walk together, but when I see the sons with the mothers, it's going to be super, super deep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now, the, now, the sons might not get it because, you know, us guys sometimes, we kind of like don't get it. But I get it. And the mothers are going to get it. I can't wait to see y'all face because I know you're going to be cheesing like a little chess art cat. I know. I know. The, I know. The, look. We're going to make sure we take a picture of it, too. Get that picture. Click. <laughs> well, yeah, the same way y'all looking right now. Uh huh. We're gonna get that picture. I'm gonna do a lot of smiling. Huh? I'm gonna do a lot of smiling. My man, see, that's what I'm talking about. Look, and with what we pay these photographers, I want to make sure we get our money's worth. I'll be like, get over there, get over there. Now, I'm thinking about some group pictures, right? Tell me, is this a good idea? The the, the brothers that bring their mothers, we get a group picture, all y'all, just y'all. Inside yeah, that the would be nice. Inside, inside. So if I forget, you remember. But every night, I stay up all through the night and thinking about this stuff. Man, I don't get no sleep. I'll be tired in the morning. But that's one group picture right there. Sons with they... That thing be so nice, I can almost sell them pictures. No, I'm only kidding. But that's going to be nice. Look. I, look and I got this one, one gentleman who's coming from North Carolina to take his mother to the prom and his mother is 82 years old. You think I ain't getting a picture of that? All right, ma'am. Then, 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 you know, Sophia Teal, right? She, she's Appalachio now, whatever that Spanish name is. She coming from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Her and her son going. See, yes. see what y'all start, started? Yes, yeah. yes. That's, that's a good thing. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm about to pull around and ask all my, all, He's my only son living, but I got some bonus sons. I was about to walk in there with all of them. Get them bonus sons. I, did I put did I put the flyer and the band on your page? Because <laughs> because if I did, share with other people. Wait a minute, Dre Money in a tux. Who you, Dre? Who that, Dre? I know you ain't wearing no tux deal. Uh, but look, I got I got me a little jacket with some sparkles on it. <laughs> with my old son. I got a little, little spark. And I brought it before I really got into the problem. I got sparkles and everything on that thing. But my problem is this. I got a bad hip, right? So if I wear shoes for like a minute and a half, my hip gonna start hurting. So I'm going to wear some, I got some new white sneakers. Now I may wear the shoes uh, to walk through the red carpet with my wife because I ain't trying to embarrass her, right? But once I get into the gym, the sneakers is coming on because I'm gonna be running around being fines, right? So I'm gonna put them sneakers on and then I'm gonna be good to go. So I'll have Fine, a jacket. They got sneaker shoes. When we was looking yeah. for my son, um, suits and stuff, they got sneaker shoes. Kim, I got a pair, Kim, and I tried to walk in my car, and my hips start hurting because I got I got these sneakers. that got them little air bubbles on underneath it, right? Oh, okay. Air Max, something or another. And when I wear them, I'm okay. And I found out that's more important than being cute. Yes, it being is. okay. <laughs> Uh, my, my hip hurt, my back started hurting, and then I can't walk for two or three days. Tashina Anderson just checked in. It's good to see you, Tashina. Uh, you're a little late, but that's okay, because you know you can always say, hey, Tanya White checked in, I ain't see you, Tanya, but I saw that bowl of food you had on Facebook. That stew looked good. I, I never knew that you could cook until recently. Tanya White used to come to New Signs This and That shop 100 years ago. Lisa Stanley, 
Top of the evening to you. We are talking about the adult prom. It's going to be the hottest, uh, most eventful thing that has happened in Coastville since the boys' championship in 2001. This is mm. going to be enormous. You don't be the one that said, I didn't go. I, you, you just don't want to be that one. This, look, this, this is the big one. This is it. This is it. And it's happening right here. I'm off duty that night. Who, now, off duty. I got to see who that is. Is that Wale? Oh, Therese. Yeah. Okay. And Therese, she said, I'm off duty that night. Fonz, I'm not a nurse. But whatever you are, I'm glad you're <laughs> off that night. I know that. <laughs> Shalia. Yeah. She got Shalia. you. Who? Huh? I said she got you. She yeah, she, she got, got me. You. You, you figure if you talk as much as me, you're going to mess up at some point in time. I'm telling you. Shalia Hardy, it is always good. She said, hi, Kim. Hi, how are you? Kim, do you mean, do you say her name like Shalia or is it Sheila? What is it? Sheila. She be trying to fake me out. Spell your name right and stop playing. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> so who else we got? So look, hey, Joe, do you have anything you want to say before we wind up and close this thing down? No, I just can't wait to see everybody. Good, man. So we're going to hang out. Hit the share button, y'all. Hit the share button. I am going to be replaying this. And Donna said, y'all have a good night. She's getting ready to go in because she's sleepy. Tanya White is laughing because she thinks stuff is funny. Who else? I got? Hey, Miss Tanya. Who else I got here? Hey, Grandma. I think, I hey, think Grandma. that's everybody. Tanya White. Yeah, I didn't know Tanya could cook like that, man. She is a cooker. All right, so look, that's it. I'm not going to hold y'all long. I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your living room and just sitting down and talking with y'all. You did pretty good, too, man. I was a little nervous at first, you know, because Joe wasn't smiling. He was looking up in the air at something up there. And I'm like, this is going to be rough. But it wasn't so bad at the, oh, there you go. She smiled again. So look. <laughs> when in doubt, check us out. On June the 3rd, we're going to be all the way live down there at Cash School. Don't forget, now I know a lot of my viewers of the African-American descent. And I'm going to tell y'all, we're lining up at 5 o'clock. Now, I know what time that means for y'all. I know y'all going to think it's 5.15 to 5.30. But what I'm saying is, we're going to have to line up because we're going to have fire trucks, police cars, we got ROT. We're going to have ROTC march and bring us in too, Kim. Ain't nobody playing. Okay, this ain't, man. Uh, yeah, this ain't no free lunch. Get get your little rifles, get your little flag, get in a row, and get your behind on up the road there because we got a party to go to, a prom to go to. So look, if nobody told you that they love you today, man, Brother Fonz and my baby case love y'all. I want y'all to have a great evening. Remember that Coatesville is rising and peace out. Bam. See y'all. Bye-bye.